Okay guys, so if you are a regular subscriber of Chris V's video and if you haven't, you should. Uh, if you're a subscriber of Chris V's video, watch his videos regularly, this place should need no introduction. Uh, yeah, so you can see today, brought the Waja to Ken Zone. And, uh, and it's a rather emotional day because over the Chinese New Year, somebody actually came. Uh, even, though I've, even though I initially thought I was not going to sell the car, but uh, somebody, someone, someone, else, someone came along and, uh, and gave me a good offer. So, uh, so I decided that uh, it's time for this old friend of mine uh, well, to head to a new home. So I'm bringing the car here for a full, uh, full checkup, all right, front to back, uh, com uh, do a full oil change and and see what else needs to be done so that uh so that the next owner will receive this car in well in its best possible shape and not have uh any nasty surprises waiting for him You save about thousand plus. To work out cheaper for me. Four thousand. You want five, even more. You save for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. All right. So, uh, final service under my watch is done. Here's the bill. Uh, what we have done? We have done an oil change. Of course, we have changed the uh, the oil filter. Uh, did alignment, balancing of the wheels, adjusted the rear camber, uh, serviced the air condition as well, topped up some gas as well as uh, as uh, added. Uh, we kind of change the the oil of the compressor. All right. So also they also uh, one of these bulbs are burnt. So this is I've got new new brake light bulbs. Okay, guys. So as you can see at the background, the Spark mobile van, and this is it. Got the Spark on mobile service to come and do the remote inspection. I paid 130 ringgit for this. I think it's a very very great convenience. It spares me from having to queue at Spark on. Uh, saves the time. All right, and, and you know now with COVID-19 ongoing, you ra really rather uh, not be in a place you know outsiders too much. So this is great. Uh, highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, overall. So now the next thing is to do. Next thing, the next thing to do is really to have the car i'm sending the car for a final wash with uh with uh, thomas's auto star and yeah hand over the car so uh i was i've also even arranged for thumb printing uh by by uh by a my eg agent so he, he will come and meet us we'll do the thumb print and yeah so there will be there's no need for us to queue at jpj there's no need for us to queue at this platform everything can be done remotely okay guys so this is this is my final cruise in the Waja under my ownership so uh, this this car was bought in 2007 um, at that time my, my folks paid for it and, uh, and I've been using it since so uh, this car is has, has went through a lot with me, all right, on both a personal and a professional notes. I have, uh, yeah, yeah. This car saw me from you know a fresh grad to where I am today, and I mean honestly, I, I would I would love to have keep to keep it a bit longer, but the fact of the matter is I don't like newcomers to sit idle and. Frankly speaking, between the S Max E39 and this, I can't drive all of them enough. Right? I, I think car for me, I have this belief that cars should should be used to fulfill its purpose of existence. I, I don't believe in 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 sheltering cars, you know, in a garage. Except if you're a car museum, that's a different story. But 
you know, for the rest of us, I think I believe cars should be out there, they should be driven, and they should have a purpose. Yeah. So I've been toying with the, the idea of selling this car for 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 a year now. Alright, but uh, just never had that that uh, that conviction to pull the trigger. So um well so so anyways uh, after respring the car last year I publicly made, made this on sale but I wasn't putting it on I wasn't actively selling it alright uh, I just like okay lah you know I just say okay guys this car is here you know give me an offer so some some there were some inquiries that came and went but none and but at the same time it also coincided with MCO right so nothing solid materialized until Chinese New Year Eve when a good friend of mine a very respected friend of mine gave me a call and said that you know he's interested to buy my car so we negotiated a price which is uh i shall just say as slightly above market value uh, but what i told him is you know uh you are paying me a bit more than every other one than most other one just on sale out there but i will have everything sorted for you you just take this car and drive that's it okay so um so the other day i did the service I did a full inspection of this car. Sorry, camera dropped. So the other day I did the full inspection of this car, right? I told the told the mechanic check everything front to back. Uh, so we found so we found the battery needs to be changed. We did an oil change of this car. Um, the aircon compressor needed needed a service, so uh, added some aircon gas and and changed the compressor oil, and that's it. This car is 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 good to go. So I even told the buyer that uh, I'll handle the Pusmacom inspection okay um, well basically that's always that that by convention usually is the seller's responsibility so I got the Pusmacom mobile wear to come over to my place 131 ringgit park done uh, I did have to rip the front tin out though because apparently it's not up to spec it's, it's, it's not com compliant with, uh, with JBJ rulings and the thing is that he, you have to be mindful about one thing when it comes to tinting guys um, even if that film whatever film that you put in supposedly complies with JPJ your windscreen also has its own certain degree of tint into it so all when these add together what you thought would be a compliant tint may not comply yeah so I also sorted I also told uh, said I'll, I'll handle the the ownership transfer it, 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 once again it was a very easy process uh, basically I just, I just I, I called a runner okay and uh, a my EG runner so he would come to your house or wherever location that you decide for 280 ringgit he will meet you and the sell and, and meet buyer and seller all right at one location you guys can do a thumbprint but done ownership transfers complete but that has yet to be done because suddenly the the uh, the, the runner that they told me that that he or she uh, that that he was uh, had had an emergency so had to, we had to reschedule so yeah so that's uh, I, I said I'll sort that out for it I'll sort a new road tax for the car and also I will even throw in 5,000 kilometers coverage under Evo Club Insurance but the remainder the, the rest of the year if you top up it's on him lah okay so yeah now I'm bringing this car to Thomas's place Auto Star Car Wash uh, apparently it's I'm just 600 meters away give this car a proper cleanup and the idea is I'm gonna hand this car to him together with all my receipts over the last 14 years as much as I could and uh, yeah and bid this old friend of mine a fond goodbye so 
thank you thank you for the last 14 years it's a, it's a difficult decision but I think you're going to find yourself in a good home take care my friend star up here they're still setting up they are still opening uh, yeah and uh, I'm just gonna leave the car here until they are ready okay guys so it's about 9 30 a.m. I've just reached Auto Star or uh, Kuchai Lama. This is uh, this is this place is uh, run by Thomas, our team member Thomas, and it's of course powered by Evo Club Car Wash. So using Pro Nano soap to wash the cars. So I've signed. I've, uh, I'm putting this car through the premium wash package. We will wash the car uh, inside out. All right and yeah give a full thorough clean so the buyer will receive this car in absolutely uh, stunning shape really nothing to worry about the only thing that he will have to pay for after this uh, would really be fuel uh, he will have to get a new tin on the front windscreen and also uh, well when it when the when the first five thousand kilometers of insurance is finished then he it's up to him to top up after that okay all right so uh and so here on this note i shall bid this old friend of mine a fond farewell and my friend this is my last video of you i think all right so it's been a good 14 years you have served me well uh gave me way 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 more good moments than there were bad uh of course the there was the time where the fuel pump failed on me and i was stranded at uh nkve but but that was just like you know one or two mishaps out of 14 generally very very happy years of ownership okay so uh as they say all good things come to an end so i shall hope that uh you will find a new purpose in life with your new owners <laughs>